I'd like to discuss a little bit of notation that's associated with the uh, fields and, and their derivatives. So, uh, and some nomenclature too, I guess, too. Um, one of the first bits of notation I want to mention is that if we're taking the derivative with respect to the coordinates, so the derivative with respect to xi, so x1, x2, or x3 of any quantity, then one way that one often kind of compacts this notation is we use this comma notation. So if you see subscripts with a comma and any indices after that comma, that means that we're taking derivatives uh, with respect to the coordinates. So one, one comma with an i after it means one derivative with respect to xi. So this is a very common notation. Uh, for example, if we have a scalar function theta and we take the derivative with respect to xi, then we can also write theta comma i. If we had uh, say a tensor and its components were aij and we want to take the derivatives with respect to xk then we can write aij comma k so this is an i right here no, it does not look very good let's clean that up a little bit so we can see it better so that would be an i and there's a j there and a comma k so these are just the components of the gradient so so I have if I have grad theta, that's just theta comma i ei, for example. So this is one bit of notation that's very common, this uh, comma notation. And together with that, there are a number of other uh, bits of nomenclature that are useful to be aware of. So one is this phrase divergence. So sometimes we talk about that div divergence of a vector field and we'll write div of that vector field, let's say v here. And the divergence of a vector field is defined to be the trace of the gradient of that vector field. And in additional expression for that is vi comma i. Because if you think about that, that makes sense because if I take the gradient of v, I would have vi comma j, and then if I take the trace, I'm going to contract on those indices, so I'll have a vi comma i. So if I were to expand this all out, this would be v1 comma 1 plus v2 comma 2 plus v3 comma 3. Alternate notations that people sometimes use for the divergences, they'll use the upside down triangle, the nabla symbol, and they'll put a dot in here. So they'll, they'll say nabla dot v. Get rid of the extra dot there. So it's not too confusing. Or they'll say the identity double contracted with the gradient of v. So the, these are all alternate notations that you may sometimes encounter, but they all mean the divergence of v, which is just simply the sum of the derivatives of the components with respect to the corresponding coordinate directions and then added together. We also will encounter the divergence of tensor fields, so div of t, so divergence of the tensor field t. Uh, we, lots of different notations again that are used. Nabla dot t is pretty common. Trace, and the definition here is really the trace of the gradient of t. Written out initially it's tij comma j ei uh, so you'll notice that when we take the divergence of a vector field we'll, we'll get a scalar when we take the divergence of a tensor field we get a vector so it kind of shifts taking gradients promotes things from scalars to vectors and higher order tensors and taking divergence reduces them so divergence of a vector gives you a scalar divergence of a tensor gives you a vector Okay, so th these are just definitions to be aware of. Uh, another definition that's pretty common is the Laplacian. So we'll use the triangle times, say, scalar field theta. And the definition of the Laplacian is that it is the divergence of the gradient. And additionally, that would be theta comma ii. So what this notation means is the derivative of theta with respect to xi xi so there's two derivatives there and then there's a summation so this becomes the derivative of theta with respect to x1 x1 plus the second derivative of theta with respect to x2 x2 
plus the second derivative of theta with respect to x3, x3. So just sum on the repeated indices. There's two of them after the comma. And so anything that appears after the comma is a derivative. Uh, we also have Laplacians of vector fields. So the Laplacian of V written out initially as VI comma JJ, EI. And the last um, bit of notation I want to mention is the curl operator. So the curl of a vector field, uh, sometimes written as nabla cross V, so cross product, and it's written initially as EIJK, so this is the permutation symbol. VK comma JEI. So there's a there's a whole bunch of derivatives here. There's a sum on the i and the j that you have to be aware of. So these are just definitions. These quantities, things don't come up too often. The thing that comes up most often is the divergence of a tensor field. And we'll see that later because it's intimately related to the equilibrium conditions for a solid body or actually any body when uh, you're looking at. So the divergence of the stress field in particular is in general equal to zero. So we'll, we'll see that later and those will actually result in the equations that we solve to determine the equilibrium of a body under load.